everybody, it's me again. I know, I'm doing another webcam video, and I said I wouldn't, but I don't really have time to, like, full-on film this particular video, so I figured I'd just do a quick one. It's going to be, like, quick and dirty, you know, like we always do. But I wanted to do an outfit of the day for you guys because I showed you the makeup tutorial that I did yesterday for the makeup for this Halloween look, but I never showed you the costume. Um, most of why I didn't show you the costume right away is because, one, it deserves its own video. As you can plainly see, I'm not even standing up yet, and it's absolutely obnoxiously beautiful. So I thought it deserved its own video. And two, I just didn't feel like getting into it. This costume, normally, I need two... Like, I need a hand. Like, a, it takes two people to put this costume on, normally. And, um... Even then, you're still, like, working. The first time I put this on after I bought it, it took my husband and I, I'm not kidding, like an hour to get this thing on. Um, because it's corseted in the front, and you got to tuck the girls up and in, and it's just, it's, yeah, I'll explain that to y'all. But it really does deserve its own video anyway, and I didn't feel like putting it on only to take it off. So now that I'm actually, you know, it is Halloween, and I'm actually going to be going out, um, to a burlesque show that I'll be kittening today, um, well, this evening. I figured it would be a good idea to go ahead and show you guys the Halloween costume that goes with the mage look. Um, you could also dress this gown up in so many different ways. I am thrilled with it. Again, as I said in my tutorial, I got this at Noblesse Oblige. It's a Renaissance Festival clothing company. They're kind of high-end in that this dress was really, really expensive. Like, I don't even want to talk about how expensive this was. Um, but it comes in, like, different pieces. And then you buy this, which is the chemise, which goes, like, underneath everything. And you buy this overdress, and then all of the rest is just, like, extra added on to it. So, yeah, really, really expensive, but it is beautiful. Um, I said to myself, if they had a black gown, I was going to go ahead and cave, since I'm going to Japan soon, and I'm not going to be able to go to Ren Faire a whole lot in the next three years, so why not? I figured I'd give it a shot. So, again, this is from Noblesse Oblige. This style of gown is called the Esmeralda, and it's a, I believe it's an authentic Italian reproduction or Spanish, one of the two, I can't remember, because both of them had this kind of off-the-shoulder thing going on for a while. Um, now, the, the women who work at Noblesse Oblige are obviously much, much better at putting these things on than I am, and normally you go, like, on a festival day, you would go there and they would help you change into your costume. Um, that's how intense it is. But I knew eventually I was going to have to learn how to put this on myself, so I gave it a shot. It took me about 45 minutes to get it to where I wanted it to be, um, the hardest part, honestly, is getting the ladies situated, because normally when one of the ladies at Noblesse is helping you put, it, put this on, you have to grab your girls like this and hold them there while they're tying your corset up, otherwise they're going to get all discombobulated. <laughs> discombobulated? Pun? <laughs> So that was, that was by far the most difficult part for me, was because I had to hold my boobs basically with one hand while I was lacing and tightening with the other. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous gown. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. Hopefully I don't roll over myself. Let me stand up here. So this is what the top of the gown looks like. As you can see, it is all black because I love black. And I'll show you a detail shot, all of the detail on this gown is pretty much the same, but it's amazing. It's got this antiqued gold kind of steampunk thing going on, which I love. Um, but the only thing, the only underskirt they had was silver, so I went ahead and got the silver. I don't really regret getting the silver. I think it kind of works. So let me push out and turn around. Um, as you can see, I can bend over pretty well. Walking's kind of difficult because this farthingale, this hoop skirt, is gigantic. It is massively huge. Like, I can barely fit in my husband's car. And that's when this gown is like halfway up the window. But, um, there is the chemise, has these long, beautiful, slippery silk sleeves. The overdress is silk du peony, so it doesn't wrinkle. 
Um, although I've heard Silk Du Peony does stain pretty easily, so you got to be careful of that. And there's your see-through sleeves. These can get in the way when you're putting it on, um, but you just have to make sure you pull them out of everything so they don't get tangled. Uh, and then on the ends of the sleeves here, I lo I'm a sucker, I'm an absolute sucker for details, y'all know this. On the end of the sleeves, she's got these beautiful beads attached, and then on the end of the ties right here, you can see she's got gorgeous, gorgeous beads attached to those as well. So really, the devil is in the details with these dresses. That is why they're so pricey, that is why they're so beautiful, they're well made, they're durable. Sit back down here. It's an adventure to sit down. But they're absolutely beautiful. They can take a beating, you can wear them to festival, and they'll be perfectly fine. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous gown on details alone, never mind how it looks on me. Um, so a lot of people have been asking if it's tough to breathe in these kind of things. This is not that bad. Um, the two hardest things to do for me are yawning and sneezing. So anything where your chest expands a lot because this is tied down, it's steel bones, so you're not going anywhere once you're in this thing. Um, but using the bathroom's not that difficult. I just kind of lift the hoop skirts up and then back up into the bathroom. But I love this gown because you can wear sneakers under it and it's so long that no one notices. Um, and again, you can style this in multiple different ways. I just love all the detail on it. I got it from Noblesse Oblige. You can check them out on their website, noblesseoblige.com and go ahead and check them out. The seamstress's name is Leslie, I believe. And she is an absolutely amazing person. Just so super sweet and nice. And she does do custom work. She's probably got like a waiting list a mile long right now. But if you're getting married and you want a Renaissance themed wedding gown, like, oh my goodness, her gowns are gorgeous. And she has other styles too, not just this one. She's got authentic Elizabethan styles. I mean, ugh, can't stop gushing about this woman. Oh my god, I'm talking too much. But she is incredible and amazing, and I can't thank Noblesse enough for all their help and all their patience in me waiting for like five years to finally find the dress of my dreams. And, as I said, my husband got a doublet to match, so if we ever, he said to me, if we still fit in these outfits when we do our vow renewal, which I'm not sure when that's going to be, maybe like at some kind of milestone, like 10 years or something, um, we're going to do a vow renewal, and if the gowns still fit, still fits me and the doublet still fits him, then we're going to go ahead and wear these to our vow renewal so we can have an honest-to-goodness, like, awesome-tastic, big-deal wedding-type thing. So that's your turn, YouTube. I want to see all your Halloween costumes. I'm so excited. This is my favorite holiday of the year. You guys know that. And I would love, love, love to see what you guys have in store. Oh, and because it's kind of chilly on Halloween normally, I have this scarf that I got from a scarf store in the mall. Like, literally, they sold shawls and jewelry, and that was it. And um, it's really, really big and wide. So what I do is I just throw it over my shoulder, like so. And that way people can still see the beauty of the gown without me having to wear an obnoxiously large, like, jacket or coat. Because let's face it, with these sleeves, you're not wearing a coat. But be sure to leave a comment in the box below. What were you for Halloween? I want to see pictures and videos of all your costumes. Leave the links in, in the description below or in the, 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 you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm going to go get stuff together and get ready to celebrate Halloween. Be safe, guys, and I will see you in a few days.